Are you a PC gamer? Is your significant other nagging you to hang out? Do you have noobs to pwn? But your laptop is too big for the couch. Not to worry, with the GPD WinMax, you can do all these things and more. Happy waifu, happy life. But at what cost? <laughs> <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to Beards, Burbage, and Games. We got a nice unboxing and review for you today. I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey, and with me, we have Mike. Hello. And we got Big Jim. Howdy. We know this is going to be a good one because Big Jim has graced this review with his presence. <laughs> welcome, 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 everybody. So we're reviewing the GamePad Digital, also known as the GPD max and for those that don't know what this is it is at marketed as a handheld pc gaming device and i will say the the box quality is quite nice i feel like i'm important opening something fancy <clears throat> so the specs on this machine it is running on a uh, 1035 g7 Intel processor um, that is a four core eight thread processor um, the integrated graphics which is what drives this machine it doesn't have a graphics card it's all on board it runs on the Intel iris plus uh, 940 so that's actually a pretty decent onboard uh, graphics card and it's capable of driving quite a few games as you'll be able to see here uh, moving forward um, it does have 16 gigabytes of LP DDR4 say that five times fast no. Uh, RAM running at 3733 megahertz. Now that is pretty fast. It's faster um, than my machine. Oh yeah, gotta go fast. Flat and to the, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the storage is a 512 a gigabyte NVMe, which is upgradable. So uh, we just got through looking at the Apple uh, Lightning cord there, and now we got the. The power brick on this thing is massive, and it is actually a power delivery compliant USB-C to USB-C. This thing's glowing kind of... like the sun. <laughs> oh, it gets hot, it, but it is quite capable of quick charge. They can charge this thing pretty fast. Um, so we'll get the box out of the way, because you don't want to see the box. You want to see the actual product. No, I want to see the box. Oh, okay. It's like Jim was talking about earlier. That box is really pretty. <laughs> like fine jewelry. So this is the device. Uh, so it has a built-in controller. It is X input controller. So a lot of games will detect it right away. Um, in Windows, it does show up as an Xbox 360 controller. So that was an interesting design. Um, and probably my least favorite of this controller is the start, select, and menu button. Because if you notice the way it's positioned, you have to really move your left thumb way over there to hit start. Oh, that's cool. It actually has the PlayStation buttons put to really small up there. Hopefully, Sony doesn't see that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the keyboard is, well, it's, it's okay. Um, you got a shortcut there to, to silence the fan if you want it to run quiet, which I don't know why you would do that. Um, the F keys and the, and the number keys are horrible. <laughs> how small they are especially for chunky fingers like mine and i really wish that tab key was down there where the caps lock key is <laughs> nice mouse all right <laughs> so uh as you can see there we do have a three so already right out the right out the gate we have more ports on the macbook pro good start uh this is a gigabit ethernet port a micro sd card slot reader we do have the rear trigger buttons, and those are digital, I believe. They're not analog. Um, they, they feel pretty decent. That is the HDMI 2.0, two 3.0 USBs. And here's the fascinating thing about it. That is a Thunderbolt 3 USB-C. You can hook an external GPU to this thing. Make it a switch, per se. I would really and then like of to course, that. Maybe, maybe. And then it's either port power. can be used for charging. And just quick toggle, you can turn over to mouse mode, and that means your joysticks will be the mouse. Uh, they did a good job on the cooling vent here at the bottom. Um, it is kind of vented here really well. And they designed it to where when you hold it like normal, you don't block the fans. 
Look at those. And this thing does spin up fast. Look at those pretty hands. Just, just so much nicer than mine when I do my unboxings. Oh, stop it. I bet you say it to all the reviewers. <laughs> it does have dual speakers at the bottom there, and that bottom is a fingerprint magnet, so that is something I will say. <laughs> <laughs> Look at all my grease! Ah! I, I ate a bag of Cheetos before this review. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Overall, it's not too heavy. Fits in the hand well. Now we're going to get into some sweet gameplay. This is a 2D game called Metal Gear. Um, it's a really awesome game. It's actually releasing this month. It's in early access, so feel free to check it out on Steam. Uh, I had a lot of fun with it. I can't wait till it releases to actually try the story. But to nobody's surprise, it does handle these types of games really, really well. As you can see, I'm staying at 60 frame. Yes, I did turn V-Sync on. Just because this is a 60 hertz display, I think that if you go over... Uh, if you push it over 60 frames, you're just pushing that GPU harder than it needs to go anyways. And by limiting frames, you're probably saving battery. Not by much, but by a little. You know, when I was uh, when I was in college, I tried to find a small PC to, to carry around with me to like play WoW and stuff like that on. If I'd had something like this, that would have been amazing. But with the stuff I could find, the integrated graphics were just so bad, you couldn't do anything on them. Oh. Meow, 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 meow. That's why Corey wanted to play this game. Did you see that, Jim? I did. Indeed. I played for the action. Just like this game. Here we have Taste Like Chicken, our <laughs> Aragonian Dragonborn. Uh, so, this is the special edition of uh, English. Special edition of Skyrim. Uh, it runs around 40 frames now. I do have frames for recording. Uh, that is, has been known to impact the performance, so without fraps, you probably just have an extra frame. Oh, hell, hello, he popped in like the Kool-Aid man. <laughs> oh, yeah. I am a dragon. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be fire. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Every time I play Skyrim, I'm going to hear Big Jim in my head now. <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just a burninating. <laughs> Did you see that big dragon? <laughs> he scared me. So I forgot to mention, this is on the medium <laughs> preset details, so you can toy around with the settings and turn on god rays and things like that that are known to impact the GPU really hard. Um, and get a little bit more frames and the older version of Skyrim probably would run at 60 now indoors I'm getting a solid 60 frames which you're probably asking well I got Skyrim on the switch why would I need this especially for the price this thing cost um, mods because <laughs> I'm a mire wizard <laughs> oh god <laughs> he's trying to Prison shanked him. But what isn't on the Switch is Fallout 4. Yet. <laughs> you know, mo modern science can only take us so far. I don't think the Switch can carry much more demand. <laughs> How does it feel in your hand? Is it comfortable? Surprisingly, yes. It, it's uh, it's fat guy. Fingers friendly. Except How's for those the F keys. <laughs> <laughs> How is that mouthfeel? <laughs> Did it taste all right? Yes, it tastes like copper. <laughs> Sweet tang. <laughs> it's <really> delicious. <laughs> We're just gonna run in the Concord here. It's nice to see you mess up for once. What are you talking about? I play like a pro. I don't know, Jim. What do you Power think? Power to the players. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of missed shots there. Look at that. He didn't take it. Oh, there you go. When he runs right up on you, you got him. Let's see here. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, okay. That was center mass. He's an aim bots. You caught me. No, Preston. I'm not helping your settlement. Well, that's just mean. Oh god, Fall Guys. This game is still fun to me. So the built-in controller support detects right away. So it does a really, really good job on this. Really? 
Yeah, uh, it runs almost 60. Dun, 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 dun. God, the music is what made this game to me. <laughs> Look at you bouncing around. Every time I played this game, it just it just made me want to like hum, and I got super pumped up. We need to revisit that game. Jim, did you ever play the game with us? XMC. Do what? This game made me want to watch XMC. Yes. Oh. That show was so great. I miss that show so much. Apparently that show did terrible in Japan. It only got like one or two seasons. But I remember there being a crap ton of episodes, don't you? Yeah. It's on some streaming service. I can't remember which. Uh, we should find it. Watch it all. So I don't know what it was with this match, but it's like everybody grabbed everything from the doors. And here in a minute, you're going to like see all the pieces of the doors. There, there it goes. Just flying everywhere why are they taking the doors with them i have no idea apparently i missed something played uh fall guys <laughs> just... i wasn't even trying to win to be honest but you know i i i don't want to brag or anything but i did win two crowns this game <laughs> <laughs> what's in this guy how, how many how many there? how many of you won mike uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so another game to talk about is visual novel and So basically they're just story driven game. Um it's kinda like watching a still pictured anime audiobook. Uh this is Move Love, uh one of the more well known uh, great visual novel by the way. If you're a visual novel fan, you owe to yourself a this. Yes. Look at those you frames. Are... <laughs> you will be happy to know that it runs at a solid six seconds so it can display still images really well um, do you hear that sign Corey? what siren the viewing angles the, LPD, the lcd screen is awesome on the viewing angles they are really good um and the just the small the portability of this device makes it good because you know if you enjoy visual novels on a desktop desktops are nice but let's be honest if you read the more spicy ones um, they're not exactly discreet, and if you're you're married, that could be a problem. For shame. <laughs> but with the device here, as you can see, just a quick flick of the wrist, boom, your shame is off out of sight. <laughs> <laughs> 10 out of 10 IGN alright let's get to some PS2 emulation here um, so I'm going to play one of my favorite PS2 emulations I'm happy to report this thing handles emulation like a beast which you can buy cheaper devices for emulation but it's hard to get PS2 emulation to work on anything besides Windows it's just not there for Android um, and um, this this form factor, it's really hard to just get um, without actually buying one of the GPD Win series. So this is Mobile Suit Gundam Xeonic Front, um, a great PS2 game. And you if can I see saw it, you in public playing the wrong game, I would swear you were like a domestic terrorist with that thing. <laughs> 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 Drones four. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, police. Uh, there's this guy, and he's like flying these things around. From you, this little... you don't want to be. You don't want to be playing counter. <laughs> the bomb has been planted. <laughs> <laughs> I get shot by airport security, and all of a sudden, as soon as I get shot, counter terrorists win. <laughs> 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 no, my save. <laughs> I love you, FBI. Please don't come to my door. <laughs> <laughs> I love so, hey. games. I've never actually played this one. It, this has got me actually excited to try this out. Oh, it, it's it's a fun game. I've beat it like I don't know many times. I used to have a digital pocket Bible, and this reminds me if you put that in like a tote. And then poured a bunch of shark testosterone on it, <laughs> and then like a PS2 disc, and you let it soak for five years, and then you pour this out. 
I, I do want to say though it's amazing for mobile technologies is come like a lot of the APUs and built-in graphics processors on these uh, on these chips is just it's come a long way like like Mike said if you bought like a netbook or something to like play WoW at college or something or on the go you were stuck at 15 frames all right now we got another game uh, this is Burnout 3 takedown now unfortunately I did not 30 frames per second. I don't know if it's a setting with the emulator or um, the hardware limitation itself because this game is demanding on the processor side. I will probably tinker with it a little bit more to see if I can't get better performance out of it. But we can see everything going in slow motion there. But you do get to see me do this sick takedown. Mm. I'm living my life 30 frames at a time. <laughs> <laughs> Aren't we all, Big Jim? Aren't we all? <laughs> You stole this game, didn't you? Ding, 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 ding. If you yeah, have four wheels, yeah. <laughs> Again, we have to do the disclaimer. Every single one of these games that we're playing, we own. Or, in this case, Conquer Quarry owns. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we, you, can get, you can get ROMs. Yeah, you just do, do research. You know where to get your ROMs. Do your thing. <laughs> Alright, so here we're going to do a certain emulator named after a certain mammal uh, that plays a certain set of games from a certain company. Um, so here we have uh, Metroid Prime. Uh, <laughs> so as you can see there, it's running really, really well. Now, one thing I do... Um, there are a lot of rumors, and it is probably coming sooner than later. They're probably going to release all these, all the Prime series on the Switch. So that's Bro. obviously the most cost-effective way to play this. She's cute. Oh yeah. Is she cute? She is not only not only is she <laughs> she's stylish, but she can kick your butt. The Ultimate Woman. <laughs> Roll up like a ball and can aim, son. This game looks really good on there. It's hard to get games from that generation, from that console to work on emulation. Yeah, not unless you got a desktop or something, a decent desktop. Have you tried original Xbox? Uh, so that emulation has, is starting to make progress, actually. They're finally starting to figure out how to do it, but apparently emulating a PC with a PC-like console is next to impossible. Somehow Microsoft did it though. That's so weird. Uh, Halo One on this would make for a sick land party. Well, you can play you can play Halo: The Master Chief Collection, which oh, has all the Halos. True. <laughs> yeah, we. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna play old school. <laughs> I'll just just play the Master Chief Collection and, and select, press the select button or whatever it is. We never do anything easy on this channel. You know that. <laughs> so here we have Warcraft 2, and you're probably like, oh my gosh, how back from the 90s. But I wanted to show you that you can run this as a normal PC, too, because of the flexibility. Yeah, that's right, boys. Horde, horde. Um, zug, zug. Something need doing? Watch me, uh, watch me pwn some Alliance face here. Me not that kind of orc. But it plays really, really well. Um, so a lot of older games are going to... It's just the portability of this device is amazing because it becomes a netbook. It becomes a, uh, a, a handheld gaming PC of sorts. Just, just keep your expectations in check. You may have to lower the settings. And, and yes, but you're going to ask, I did try to run Cyberpunk on this thing. Um, I got all the way to the menu before the Intel drivers crashed. And that apparently is no fault to the device, but rather a defect in Cyberpunk that it cannot run on Intel uh, graphics processors. So, let's get into brass tacks. How bad will one of these suckers set you back? You don't want to know. Okay, so here's the thing you got to understand. The, the question asked about the GPD is, it does some things great, 
and other things it's just okay at. and price is a hurdle here for the price i paid for one of these things to use you could easily buy a gaming laptop so this is more of a secondary or a, a backup device of sorts because yeah this thing is over 700 dollars used you're um you're paying for the convenience of the device and the the ability to transport with it easily and the battery life while gaming will last you about as long as a switch you're looking at about two to three hours gaming it i've seen it register up to seven hours on battery if you have it in battery saver mode and doing typical tasks with it well, let me ask you after you've used it for a little while how do you feel about it are you happy with the purchase do you regret the purchase I am. I'm very happy with it, and uh, I bought again. Awesome. Heard it here, folks. All right, that's all the time we have for today's episode. If you like this episode, be sure to click that like button. Leave us a comment down below, like Big Jim says. Go ahead and tell us, Big Jim, what should they do? Crack and scramble that egg down in the comments, baby. That's right. We love to hear from you all. As always, I'm your co-host, Conquer Corey, and with me I have Mike and Big Jim. And we'll see, see ya. ya.